Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwes and this is our 35th video in Learn Django 2.1. In the previous video we have learned how you can limit your uh, Django queries using uh, Python array slicing. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, uh, complex lookups using QObject. So if you need to execute more complex queries uh, you can use QObject. So uh, a Q object is an object uh, to, it, it's used to uh, encapsulate a collection of keyword arguments. So uh, this is my previous example. I have one article model and uh, let me just uh, in my article I want to add some more data. So I have this data from the previous video. Uh, I want to add Python is good language and you can add a body in here <coughs> so let me choose a date uh, I'm going to choose for example from 2016 and click on submit let me create another article so Java uh, Java is good programming language copy this and paste it like this and I'm going to give uh, a date for this Okay, now I'm going to open my PyCharm ID and my PyCharm terminal. So now this is. Uh, let me create a new session. First, I need to change the directory. And after that, uh, I need to open Python manage.py shell. I want to open Django shell. Um, now <coughs> I want to uh, for example filter my you can uh, filter uh, first let me import so from uh, my app dot models import article also from uh, Django dot DB dot models uh, dot Q let me import from not uh, import Django uh, dot db dot models dot q mm. Django dot Django dot db dot models wait so I think there's there is a problem I don't know why let Sorry, uh, this is uh, from mm, from Django dot db dot models import q. Okay, now we have these two. First, let me filter article dot filter dot uh, article dot objects dot filter objects dot filter. Now you can give your q and in here you can write for example I want the title shot uh, contains so I'm going to filter by my title the title should contains Python so now I'm going to hit enter now you can see uh, it's bringing me the uh, data that the title uh, is for it has Python so Python Python uh, also you can do for example uh, let me show you uh, article dot objects dot filter and you can use q object and title underscore underscore contains and it should contains uh, java so now you can see java programming language java is good programming language also you can do uh, uh, some more operations for example and you can add 
uh, and also you can do or so let me show you that you can do article dot objects dot filter and you can write your queue in here so uh, the title and it's from underscore uh, contains so I want to give it for example Java and uh, mm, Q title uh, contains uh, Python uh, exception oh sorry uh, this is uh, contain Uh, contains now you can see we have uh, empty query set also you can do or so article dot objects dot filter q title underscore contains uh, java and title contains uh, Python or oh, not an or in here I mean I should use uh, or so like this uh, while scanning uh, syntax error dot filter title contain oh sorry in here I have uh, a problem and let me make it so Java now you can see we have uh, Python is good programming and Java is good programming uh, also uh, this was for OR and let me show you another example you can do let me create a data variable uh, article dot objects article dot objects dot filter and title I want starts with oh sorry I should give a Q Q uh, title starts with <coughs> Java starts with Java or or Q uh, title starts with Python hit enter now let me print my uh, data now you can see Python is good language, Java is Java programming language. We have uh, Python, Java, and Python Java. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my.